Federal University Lafia is among nine universities established in 2011 by the federal government of Nigeria. The universities were created to increase access to and improve quality of education, particularly in states that hitherto had no federal university. The vision of the Federal University Lafia is to be a re-owned institution of learning, research and innovation for the positive socio-economic transformation of the nation. Federal University Lafia is located in Lafia, the capital of Nasrawa State. The state is popularly called the home of solid minerals because of its huge deposit of mineral resources. The state is found in the agriculturally and socio-culturally rich north-central geopolitical zone of Nigeria. Academic activities started in the university in September 2012 with 247 students registered in 11 programs. The programs we are located in the institution, then three faculties of arts, science and social sciences, English and literary studies, history, visual and creative arts we are offered in the faculty of arts, mathematics, computer science, microbiology, chemistry and physics. We are situated in the faculty of science, world political science, sociology and economics. We are based in the faculty of social sciences. The number of federal university life year students rose to 642 in 2013, 1022 in 2014, and 2042 in 2015. The university has in its six years of existence grown to now have about 4,000 students. When Federal University Lafia was created, the then federal government, led by President Gulag Jonathan, appointed Professor Ekenem Ikwi Bright in 2011 to serve as a vice chancellor. She held that position and nursed the university from its infant stage after the year 2016. Our vision to be a renowned institution of learning, research and innovation for positive socioeconomic transformation of the nation, fuel our determination to maintain high standards in all our operations guided by the minimum standards set by the National Universities Commission. This determination was based on our philosophy that education has to be of the right quality and scope to impact positively on development. It was therefore apt for us to select integrity, innovation, and excellence as our core values. Since then, we have been on a mission of training graduates and equipping them with skills for socioeconomic development. When her tenure ended and she was replaced by the incumbent Professor Muhammad Sanusi Liman, appointed by President Muhammad Bahari, Precisely on February 15, 2016, Lehman took it upon himself to transform Federal University Lafia from being a university for only the privileged few to university for many. His efforts in this direction became manifest through the remarkable increase in the number of students in take in the current academic session. For the first time in its history, Federal University Lafia was able to exhaust quota of admission allocated to it by the Nigerian Universities Commission, NUC. The NUC, as should be noted, reserves the right to reduce or increase the number of students. It authorizes individual universities to admit, rightly, the institutions which have failed to demonstrate the capability to admit students up to the number allocated to them can have their culture reduced in subsequent admission exercise. Lehman and his management team at the university therefore worked very hard to prevent any unfortunate situation 
from taking place under their watch in Federal University, Lafia. And this desire to address the peculiar education needs of Nasrawa states, Lehman realized quickly that the full benefit from a university can be obtained only if the gown and town are organically linked together. And this own words, the needs of the society have to be placed at the center of our university activities and programs. Let it be known that since inception, the Federal University Life Year has been known for its pursuit of excellence, discipline, and zero tolerance of all vices afflicting the older sister institutions. I am to emphasize that in Federal University Life Year, there is time for everything, lectures, examination, marking and release of results, as well as graduation of students. This is in accordance with our core values, namely innovation, integrity, and excellence. I believe, given their antecedents and pedigree, both vice chancellors, we should give them a chance. Now that you are part and parcel of this state, yes. that you are uh, partners in the academia, let's see what you can do for your state. Let's see what you can do yes. for, for, for the academia. Let's see what you can do for the country. Yes. It's a very big challenge, yes. and I hope and believe uh, these two gentlemen and their teams uh, will be able to do us proud uh, very, very soon. His view on university rule in society meet Federal University Lafia to establish the Center for Foundation Studies to undertake remedial and pre-degree programs to prepare deficient students, mainly for Nasrawa and Federal University Lafia catchment states for entry into degree programs. New programs relevant to the social economic development of Nasrallah State and the nation were introduced by the Vice Chancellor. For instance, the universities run programs in social work in the Faculty of Social Sciences, French, Theatre and Media Studies in the Faculty of Arts and Botany, Zoology and Biochemistry and the Faculty of Science while plans are made to introduce Faculty of Education and the institution. Indeed, right from inception of this present administration in February 2016, efforts have been geared towards not only consolidating the achievements recorded by the university so far, but also new academic programs and structures have been established. These include, among others, a postgraduate school that is readily selling admission forms towards commencement of academic activities in current 2016-2017 session. Consultancy service units that serve as a veritable source of internally generated revenue for the university. Center for Foundation Studies that is established to run remedial science studies, pre-degree and other programs. Furthermore, plans are underway to establish new faculties and programs in the fields of education, management and environmental sciences, medical science and engineering as soon as all resources of the university permit. This will be undertaken in tandem with continuous recruitment of much needed senior academics and other categories of staff that will serve to prepare for the academic development of the university. A postgraduate school was also established to create access to and improve the quality of manpower in Nasrawa State and beyond, and also satisfy individuals' guests for knowledge. There is an ongoing effort spearheaded by the Nasrallah State Government to secure approval from the National Universities Commission, NUC, for Federal University Lafia to introduce a faculty of medicine. To this end, the state government has since donated the Farmers El Hatu Arab Specialist Hospital, Lafia, to the university to serve as its teaching hospital. 
I was making a passionate request that this being a new university, uh, I was hoping the minister, the NUC uh, secretary, should find ways and means of integrating uh, clinical studies uh, in the university. And at that very early time, uh, there was a place. And I'm happy to say uh, that uh, that pledge by the team that visited me has come to pass because as it is now I've been informed about the preparation to commence uh, uh, studies in the Department of Medicine uh, which will commence any moment now. Yeah, and because of that the state has also complemented that pledge by also pledging the entire Arab uh, hospital and all its uh, uh, structures uh, to be dedicated to the Federal University of Lafayette to serve as teaching hospital for the training and clinical studies by the students. As I'm talking to you now, we have already uh, constructed up to 90% of the new and a, a, a specialist hospital which will transfer the services from here to there so that we'll be able to leave the entire structure that uh, is called the Arab, Arab hospital now to the university. Under the leadership of Lehman, who clocks one year in office February 15, 2017, however, Unlike the role played by traditional universities, Federal University Lafia serves to make students think and reflect on issues affecting the world at large. It does so by feeding their instincts to understand and seek meaning. Students are taught to question interpretations, reduce the cures of information to the order of an analytical argument and seek for its relevance to the resolution of a problem. They learn progressively to identify problems for themselves and resolve them by rational arguments supported by research and evidence. Now, Fadra University Lafia deals with the universality of knowledge and seeks to establish what is common to all of us and what distinguishes all of us. This goal, in essence, forms the foundation upon which the university enterprise now rests. In accordance with the mission of the university to train its graduates and equip them with skills for social economic development, curriculum instructions are designed to respond to demands of employers, local economy, and international standards. This is done with a view to producing graduates who can be employable. Since inception, we have tried to set and maintain standards in terms of building the self esteem of the administrative staff to engaging them in activities of the university at committee levels and even in the various units and departments. Also, given that we have also tried to, we have been training and retraining the staff so as to, 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 to ensure that their orientation and attitude fits what we expect of staff of the university. Uh, I'm sure you are aware that most of the bulk of the staff of the registry did not come from the staff that were recruited from the outside the university system. So there was that need, we did need to reorientate them and make sure that they fit into what we expect of the staff of the university. So, having, make all, having made all these efforts, and uh, going by the trends in other universities, I would want to say that uh, the administrative staff of the university, uh, we have come a long way. The core value of the university comprised integrity, innovation and excellence, these three key words constitute the guiding tenants of the university. Graduates from the university are expected to excel in their chosen field of endeavor, as well as to be capable of innovation and promotion of positive development. This university 
It's a university that, of, that is of international standard. I'm interested to know, based on what you are giving to us, myself as a person who benefited from the scheme of this very institution, right from our first year, the management made it as their own rule that every best student in every department should be doing scholarships. And it may interest you to know that the person talking to you benefited from that scheme. I was doing scholarship, I studied on that scholarship, and uh, God may have it at the end of the day. I also graduated the best in the past. Uh, in my three years of being here, I will see that I have been refined, gone through a process, and I think it's bringing out the best in me. The lecturers here are good. The, the um, administration of this school is, is the best for me. This school is um, very, very um, serious when it comes to discipline. I chose Federal University of Latvia because it's one of the new universities that was brought out. And then I checked through the site. I saw it has a course I want to study. And looking at it as a new university to have all it takes to make me to come out with first class and also to make me to come out with a good grade and to stand in public and also defend my country, my university, and myself. By conduct and academic performance, you cannot avoid uh, some minor people who are non-conformist. But majority of the students are behaving very well and they are also pursuing the academic perform uh, jobs, assignments, and everything with diligence. The university has successfully graduated two sets of students since its inception. In keeping with the advancement in technology, the institution is equipped with modern teaching and learning facilities. The university has actually started on a good note compared to the other universities of the same generation. They are all um, are progressing at their pace. Um, the 40s and uh, the entire campus, the entire system, did their very best. They have uh, invested a lot of energy to make sure that the university is of um, take off on a very solid ground. This shows that we are growing day by day. It's to trigger our IGRO so that we'll be able to fund uh, our needs properly. Fadra University Lafia was the first among the new Fadra universities to be connected to the Nigeria Research and Education Network, NGREN. This initiative is aimed at enhancing research at the university and supports the development of information in the country. Nigeria Research and Education Network is the third biggest broadband after MTN and Glow Networks. Federal University Lafia has a highly motivated staff working hard to build a reputable institution, realizing that staff are the key drivers of its vision and mission. The management of the university places high premium on staff development through training and retraining. A number of staff, both teaching and non-teaching, had over the years attended trainings, conferences and workshops within and outside Nigeria Scholarships we are also offered to some for higher degrees in various institutions within and outside the country. There have been concerted efforts to boost research activities in the university. Culminating in the research products of the university, winning overall third position at the fifth Nigeria University's Research and Development Fair, organized by the National Universities Commission. The events took place in Fadra University of Technology, FUT, Mina, Niger State, in 2012. Also, the Erasmus Omishi artwork named Virus won the Justice Anya Golu Prize for originality in the 2013 edition of Life in My City Arts Festival. The arts competition held in Lagos was organized by Life in My City Arts Festival in collaboration with Alliance, Franchise, and Diamond Bank, PLC.
in the area of infrastructural development, the university, which started its activities at its stake off-site, Obi Road Lafia, in 2012, has now moved to its permanent site in Makodi Road. However, the university still has some of its staff working at the take-off site, which used to serve as, as the National State Secretariat. Soon, after the buildings at the site were donated to Federal University Lafia by the state government, they were remodeled in line with the needs and requirements of a teaching and learning environment. As part of efforts to accommodate students at the university, the National State Government had embarked on the construction of a three-story building at the permanent site. Two hostels are, however, completed through Chet Farm Intervention Program, and they conveniently accommodate 1,000 male and an equal number of female students of the university authorities looking ahead to building more hostels and accommodating students with a view to ensuring that they are not only thought in classrooms, but they are also watched after lessons to guard against exhibition of any outward behavior. Nassau State is very lucky uh, because as I speak to you now, I'm not too sure that every state of the population has uh, a federal university uh, situated or, or established in those states. If, even if they are, uh, they have not reached the level of maturity the one in life has, has reached. Uh, having said that, uh, one can safely say, even with the short period uh, for which the university has operated, uh, multiple advantages have already been uh, accessed by the state and the state capital uh, in particular. Uh, apart from job opportunities, physical and environmental uh, aesthetics, uh, adding value to planning and development within uh, the state capital. There are also a number of structures constructed by the federal government under the Tertiary Education Trust Fund on the permanent site, which plot of land was also donated by the National State Government. The permanent site houses the school's central administrative building, faculty complexes, library, ICT building, male and female hostel, and an auditorium. Right, right now, on behalf of His Royal Highness, I can conveniently say I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied because if you look at the place and then you go there now, and you know what you are talking A lot of developments. University is, is a town, you know. A lot of things will come in. But you have to start from somewhere. Some of the departments are there. Some of... Uh, it's, it's very difficult to get a new university that within five, ten years they are even talking of starting medicine. We are very pleased. In the area of sport, Fadra University Lafia, now six years old, has recently won gold and bronze medals at the just concluded 12th Nigeria University Staff Sports Association Games. The sporting event, which took place in Kaduna between December 8 and 16, 2016, had competitors from three to five universities. The Federal University Lafia team competed in six games, namely football, scrabble, chess, table tennis, badminton, and athletics. The 2016 edition of the Games was hosted by the National Open University of Nigeria. Now, suffice it to say that in six years of its existence, Fadra University Lafia is fast getting developed into a reputable institution of learning and research in Nigeria.